Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today I talk about aviator sunglasses, also known as aviators. We discuss the style, the history, what to buy and what to avoid. <laughs> Aviator sunglasses were developed by Bausch and Lomb in 1936 and were originally meant for pilots. Pilots had complained about the sunlight at high altitudes and so Bausch and Lomb wanted something that covered the eyes completely so pilots could focus on what's going on without being blinded by a sudden burst of sunlight. To achieve this effect, they had the hallmark teardrop shape which allowed the sunglasses to sit very close to the face without any gaps and keep the eyes covered at all times. During the war, many servicemen wore them and even General MacArthur became well known for them with his corncob pipe smoking and eventually Hollywood picked up on it and it became much more popular. Also, when soldiers came back from the war and they wore them, they had a certain military cachet which helped to ingrain them as a desirable sunglasses in the general population. If there's one movie that's associated with aviators, it's most likely Top Gun. Lead actors Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer wore them in various situations and they become an iconic style that everybody wanted to have at the time. Even though they were originally Bausch & Lomb sunglasses, they were eventually rebranded to Ray-Ban aviators. Today, Ray-Ban is owned by Luxottica and so the aviators are technically an Italian product now. So what makes aviators aviators? Well, first of all, it's the size. You want an area of your lenses that's about three times as large as your eyeballs. The second hallmark is the thin metal frames with a triple bridge or a double bridge. You want either a cable or bayonet earpiece and you want adjustable nose pads. Of course, you want a teardrop shape to cover the eye and you want a convex lens. So who can wear aviators? Ideally, people with oval, square, and heart-shaped faces look really good with them. At least that's true for traditional sunglasses. Aviators come in different styles, they're more modern, and so they can even be adapted by other people. To learn more about what kind of sunglasses work best with your face shape and your skin tone, check out this video here. In general, aviators work really well with all kinds of casual outfits and they're definitely a statement piece because of the metal. Classic finishes include gold, chrome, or gunmetal. Apart from that, you can also find them in plastic, acetate, or horn, but the most traditional way is a metal frame in gold with either brown, green, or gray lenses. Sometimes you can also find aviators with a mirrored look, and if you like it, go for it. Otherwise, I prefer to have the regular tinted or polarized lenses. So what aviators should you buy? Basically, the vintage Bausch & Lomb are the most original versions you can find, but you have to go to eBay, vintage stores or flea markets to find the real deal. Of course, sometimes the lenses will be scratched, but if you go to the optician, they can exchange them. Another options would be Ray-Bans, which I'm wearing here right now. This is a more modern shape with less of a teardrop. You can also find the original shape from them and they're usually quite pricey, so people sometimes want to go with different brands. Personally, my favorite aviators are from Randolph Engineering. They're American-made, they're rather heavy and solid, and the Ray-Bans and these have lasted for way over five years. They're still going strong with the polarized lenses. They're just great to use, very functional, and they look stylish. In case you're intimidated by aviators, Bear in mind, there are lots of different styles, lots of materials, and I truly believe that there is a pair of aviators for every taste, no matter if you like it bold or more subtle. To learn more about the quality hallmarks of aviators and different pictures, check out our full guide here. And if you want to learn more about sunglasses and the quality and the materials that go into it in general, please check out this guide. <laughs>